guys, guys, come here. I've got a new dance I want to show you. Oh, I know this. It's the bird dance where you clap your hands and flap your arms. <laughs> Parish's yew tree and also to bird missing with Boyle and today's missing bird is the song thrush. Song thrush are rather plain looking birds but their voices are beautiful. They have brown upper parts and black spotted cream or buff underparts. Their beaks are yellow. Their Latin name is Turdus philomelus. In Greek myth, Philomelus had her tongue cut out and was turned into a songbird. We often hear them singing in Wig Town. Who knows? Maybe we'll hear one singing today. This is the way to the Martyr Stake. We often hear many birds down there. Song thrush come from the family of chats and thrushes, and they do chat a lot. My cousin Ian and I stood under this very tree and listened. Ian has been watching birds for 60 years. He says the song of a song thrush is easy to identify because they repeat, repeat, and repeat the song. Unlike the blackbird, the songs usually are the same line three, three, and three times. In fact, the male sings from the top of the trees and can sing a hundred different songs. Some of the songs come from their parents, others copied from other songbirds, sometimes they can even copy man-made objects like a telephone. How strange. This is a picture we took of the song flash. And this is what they sound like. Song thrush like to eat worms, fruit and snails, all of which you can find on the Marker State Walk. Here is a snail we found earlier. This is a snail. The song thrush smashes a snail open by hitting it against a rock with the flick of its head. Not so easy if you're a boy. We are going to let Ishmael the snail live another day. Goodbye Ishmael! You can see the song thrush all year round. Breeding seasons last from March to August and they have two or three broods every year. The nest is built by the female, low down in shrubs or trees, and made of twigs, grass, moss, stuck together with mud, poo, rotten wood, and leaves. How disgusting. It can take two to three weeks to finish, and they tend to return to it again. These are song thrush eggs. We found them hatched along the path. Song thrush lay three to five eggs at a time, each one day apart. The female sits on them and the chicks hatch two weeks later. Both parents feed them. They eat worms, bugs and slugs, caterpillars and fruit. There are many losses at the chick and egg stage. Only one in three nests fledge their young. A song thrush song is very beautiful, but a song of a different kind was sung on this bay once. Two women were drowned for their faith and sung a psalm to give them courage. 
Although the oldest song thrush lived up to be 13 years old, they usually live between three to five years. Although we didn't see a song thrush on our journeys, we sure learned lots about it. So, join us next time on Bird Missing with Boyle! This is the way to the march stick. <laughs>